What's up guys, so in this video we are going to be doing a benchmark on the RTX 3090 and the Vinci Resolve 17. Pretty much how fast can RTX 3090 render H.264 and H.265 compared to an Intel 10900K CPU. So let's go ahead and get started. So we have here a timeline, we have a 4K resolution timeline with a bunch of 4K footage from Adobe Stock. And um, we're going to try and render this and try to see how fast it can render it. So I'm not going to do anything here. No nodes or anything. We're going to go straight to the rocket ship and let's start doing some stuff. Now I have a preset here called the old school. And this is how I used to render. Uh, I did upload a video last night, which I took down because I'm going to try and see maybe my old ways need upgrading. Um, so I'm going to make another video later. I'm doing a bunch of tests to see if I can come up with a new process because yeah, I mean, somebody commented, this is probably the old way and that's how I used to do it. So maybe with new DaVinci Resolve 17, there's a better way. So I'm going to go ahead and make a video about that later on. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, we're going to go with uh, regular H.264, pretty much the old way on how I do it, but we're going to change it to NVIDIA. And then we're going to go ahead and do VBR high quality, H.264, NVIDIA, VBR, 5,500 kilobytes per second or kilobits per second. And then we're going to go video. And then let's go ahead and name this old school one. So let's see how fast this renders. And this should use all the GPU stuff. So I'm going to pop up my task manager here. So when I press render, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, take a look and see how this uh how fast is this is going so let's go ahead and add to render queue and press render and i'm gonna go ahead and pull this up so you can see it's using 100 percent of my rtx 3090 that looks good that's good and it's about a minute for the match it's like a minute six seconds uh timeline here so that's where you see it okay so it's finished that finished in 19 seconds, and it's, like I said, it's like a minute, four seconds, and six frames. So that's 19 seconds, and now we're going to go with the traditional native H.264, same settings, same same quality, and we're going to change this to uh, high, which is the highest one. Uh, video is okay, and then we're going to go ahead and press render, and this is old native. And we're going to take a look at the files after as well. Add to render queue. Press render, and this should use my CPU, render. Pop up our task manager, and it is using my CPU. So you can see right here, it's shifted to CPU instead of GPU. Let's take a look at this. So the CPU has 19 seconds to beat. Okay, so that finished, and that finished in a minute and one second. So let's go ahead and go to our desktop. Okay, so now we're in the desktop, and let's take a look at the files. All right, so this right here is the NVIDIA old school. If you look at the details, it retained pretty much the data rate that I put in. It actually rendered 3,000 more than what I put in in Resolve, which is good. I like it more than just less. All right, and then the CPU one is right here up top. And as you can see, the CPU does render less data rate. And that's why I usually, when I was rendering CPU, I would usually put two to 5,000 more than what I really want because it does render less. Okay, so let's go back to DaVinci Resolve. So now that you saw those two, what we're going to do is do H.265 rendering, which is NVIDIA only. And let's see how fast this is going to take. All right, so we're going to do main uh let's do main 10 dennis said try that out so i'm gonna try that out main 10 which is 10 bit let's go ahead and scroll down video and let's do this old main 10 nvidia now this is probably gonna take longer than 19 seconds so let's go ahead and go okay so that took about 27 so maybe like 10 seconds more then, give or take, then the uh, MP4 NVIDIA H.264. So, it's not too bad. It's still faster than the CPU, obviously, with the one minute. Uh, but what we're going to do now is actually go up uh, go up one as far as resolution goes. So, we're going to go to uh, 8K. So, let's go 8K DCI. And I do have some 
uh, 12K footage here from the Ursa Mini Pro 12K. So let's go ahead and pull these in the timeline. And same thing, we'll do like a minute of footage. Uh, minute four, like we had earlier. And let's go ahead and go here. I'm going to name this 8K GPU. I'm going to go to H265 NVIDIA. I'm going to go with uh, 210,000. Actually, let's go ahead and go to 210,000. Actually, let's just go to 200,000. One, two, three. And we're going to do main 10 again. High quality VBR. Variable bit rate. Every 12 frames. And then video. And then um, let's go ahead and do this here. So let's edit, render to queue, render. And let's take a look at our GPU here. Now this is 8K rendering for a minute. Okay guys, so that took two minutes and 16 to render a minute of 8K Ursa Mini Pro 12K footage. That's insane. <laughs> Coming from like a Pentium 4 computer when I was a teenager to this. Absolutely insane. I mean, I was rendering 360p footage back then, guys. And that would take like 40 minutes in that old computer. So, ugh. Good times, right? Good times. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, like always, let me know. And as you can see, RTX 3090, if you're a content creator and you're debating whether to get this graphics card, I say go for it because it's pretty amazing for $1,400. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys later.